Hello everyone, Clive here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended, the island. So in the previous episode, we did go to the Broodmother, and we completed the Gamma and the Beta versions of the Broodmother. And in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Megapithecus, since that's typically the next step you would do, would be the Megapithecus in that order. And also, we have the Rexes that are ready to go. So that's the plan, at least, is to go do the Megapithecus boss. And I'm pretty confident we can do uh, all versions of the Megapithecus. The Megapithecus is probably the easiest comparative to the dinosaurs you use versus the Megapithecus, which you use Rexes. Rexes are the highest damage dealers that can go into a arena. Their base damage is pretty high already. It might not be the highest damage dealers, but they're pretty close to the highest. And so as far as Rexes go, this is what we have. We have... Uh, let's see, six, ten males, and we have nine females. And I did spend the time making the easiest version of the saddles that we had, the Ascendant saddles. So these saddles are mostly pretty good. And then I kept a few of the Journeyman saddles that were the best out of those. And the rest of them I just got rid of. I uh, just uh, went ahead and ground them down and use materials. So I did grind out quite a few of the Ascendant Saddles. And for the most part, a lot of these are gonna have over 110 armor, but there will be some that have less than that, uh, like in the 70s. So we need to compare and see how they do. Like this one has 100. I think the base version of this saddle was like 90 something. 97.6 was the base version of the saddle that we used. And you can see the stats here. So it, the really the biggest thing is just the hide. So I had to use the car chars to get the hide. And with the car chars, it's not too bad. I can go up and down the, the jungle nearby me. And it does do a pretty good job clearing that place out. And I can go on the beach over here and then walk back up over here. So it's not too bad getting the hide. It's just definitely a lot of work. And like the mining part is actually the easiest part because I think it's a thousand metal. And I can go to the Redwoods Mountain and probably get 10K metal and smelt it in there. And then I can go up to the mountain there and get probably close to 12K using like two or three RGs. So it's not that bad getting the metal be fair. And if I needed to, I can go to the very, very far um, central mountain over there. And that one has quite a bit of metal on top of that one as well. So we have lots of places to go, especially being on a server by yourself. It's not that hard to get metal. Hide is just a little more tedious and the fiber is incredibly easy to get. Uh, just go down here to the beach and just pick all these plants with a therizinosaur and you're pretty much set from that point on. Those yellow, those aren't yellow, those are white. Okay. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, just a lot of uh, farming up, stuff like that, while these guys were growing up. These are the Megatheriums. These are all ready to go to start breeding some of the mutations that we're gonna do. So I have lots of 228 females that we can use. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and work on the Megapithecus. So a little bit of the Preparation for the Megapithecus fight. That is a cold arena, so that arena is going to require you to wear cold weather gear. And you're going to need to bring some food with you. So we're going to look at the checklist here. We have our dinos. They're done. Saddles are done. Levels, for the most part, are good on the dinos. Uh, I've just been going and running that cave that we ran, that, that hard cave just up to the first point where you turn around on. So like you have to go underneath this little area or break the crystal wall. Uh, so I didn't go past that because it's, it's just a little more dangerous than I wanted to deal with. So I could bring two of them in there and then run that cave and they spawn so fast. The things inside of it spawn pretty quickly. So you can get 30 to 40 levels in one run on one dino and then come back within like 10 minutes and then everything will be spawned back in there. I think the spawn rates in there are really high. At least that's what it seems like to me. 
And then as far as the armor goes, I'm gonna have to wear cold weather armor. So I'm gonna have to get a full set of fur gear. You don't need to worry about overheating anywhere. Just, just get the cold gear and, and you'll be fine. I don't need weapons. I could probably get a uh, shotgun just to bring with me so that I can shoot it in case that it doesn't come to me right away. Ammo, it's the same thing as the weapon. Med brews, I'll need to bring those. Soups, we want to bring the, what is it, the Fria chili that gives us the cold resistance. And then the artifacts, which we already have the artifacts for that. I think we're missing one artifact from the Northern Carno Cave, which I'm going to do pretty quickly here very soon. But uh, I don't think I need that for this boss. I'm not quite sure though. I'll have to go check it out and see what we need. But at the very least, we can do two, the first two difficulties for the boss and knock that out. I'm pretty confident in the Rexes that we have and the saddles that we have. These are 25,000 health Rexes. And for the most part, it's over 700% melee damage. So 46 by 41. So 41 is the melee damage. And that translates into, when you get to about 40 levels into it, you're gonna be pretty close to 25k health and then 700 damage. So that's kind of what we're gonna go for here. And I think that's, the, the majority of them are like that. And I'm pretty sure these all have saddles. So I'll double check that when we throw them out. I don't need theories right now. So that's our dinos, that's our saddles, that's our levels. Yeah, the armor. We have our armor here. I'm just gonna grab like whatever is on us here. I have 40 fortitude, so I'm not too concerned about uh, having to overcompensate for armor. So we can just get whatever, you know, decent armor that produces full resistance and put it on us. So like, you know, we can just do this, that. Any of the lower level stuff should be fine. I don't want to be too concerned about losing stuff. So I don't want to get the best of the best. And I, I'm pretty sure we do have armor blueprints, though, if we need to make some new stuff. Uh, so yeah, we have everything but the chest piece. So we have two helmets here. So yeah, we can make some new stuff if we need to. But it's not required for, for this fight. All right, and then other than that, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'll get ready, and we'll head to the green obelisk over there. I don't think we need anything else with us for now. So I will see you over there when I am ready to go. Okay, we are at the red obelisk, and I did throw them all out now. So just keep in mind that you want these things to be in front of the outer metal ring. If they are on the metal ring, it's kind of iffy. Uh, but you want their feet to be in front of the metal ring for sure. So some of them are not like touching correctly or if they're like sticking on the edge, you can always get on them and like turn them in a little bit, like turn them sideways so that they can fit properly and they're not sticking out too much. I had to do that to a couple of them, uh, just turn them a little bit. Like this one is probably good enough, but we can go in here and just turn them a little bit, make them face side to side instead of Face in the center. And that's really it. Uh, we did fit all of them on here. I do have my Uteranus on the edge here. Just because of the way that the Megapithecus arenas are set up. The Megapithecus starts further away in like another section than where you spawn in at. And what we need to do is we probably need to go and grab the Megapithecus and bring him back to our Rexes. And once we get in there, I'll talk a little bit more about what that looks like. But we are just doing the first one, so it's going to be a little bit easier to explain the first one. Hopefully we don't have too much lag like we did the last time. I haven't been in that arena yet on this map, so I'm not sure how much it's going to take to load in that arena. But hopefully it's not too bad. So we need the Devourer, the Brute, and the Pack. And the Devourer is the only one we have only one of, so I'll have to go and get another one of those pretty soon. That is from the Carno Island. So Devourer, Brute, and Pack. The Brute one is the hard one to get. It's the hard cave. Grab that one, that one, and that one. Okay, 
the flower root pack. And then I think as far as like the other stuff goes for the later versions, let's check out those requirements because it does require additional stuff. So you do need Megalodon teeth, which we have tons of those. Megalania toxin. It's going to be a little bit harder to get. I think we might have enough. Alicolio claws. We definitely need to get some more of those. Spinosaur sails. There's in a claws. So I think we're really going to need to get some more Thylacolio claws and the sails. Toxins, we may have enough, but we can go grab those. There's a couple of caves we can go and get those. But for now, we'll do the first one, which is going to be the Gamma. And hopefully, we load in. I need to put my gear on. And we're going to run to our Uteranus as soon as we get in there. Let's get started. I'm not going to jump on the Uteranus, I'm just going to uh, stay below it and we'll hop on it once we get in there. Let's get our soups while we can. Okay, so this one wasn't too bad. Uh, we actually loaded him pretty quick. Let's go around here. Uh, we need to get around our Rexes. We we'll probably stick them over here for now. Uh, I put them on two. Are they all on two? No, they're not all on two. There we go. Oh, there's the Megapithecus. Yeah, so this arena is a little tricky because there's this, uh, that central part there where stuff will fall in, just like they just did. I want to avoid that. So let's get over here. Get him back. We want this guy to start fighting. Yeah, we want to fight away from that edge there. Start uh, our buffs. Okay. I think we just lost one. Which is nice. Okay. Yeah, that's really the hardest part, is this little ledge here. Um, this is just terrible. Uh, you can't walk over there as a person, but that knows we'll get knocked back over there. Let's see what we got. 40, and then we got the Megapithix head. We also got the banner. Yeah, look how far this guy got pushed back. Like, way over there. And we did lose one, unfortunately. I don't think there's anywhere to get those saddles, so hopefully it wasn't a good saddle. But yeah, you don't want to go down there not the safest place to go. That's really the biggest danger here. And it's kind of hard because if you go up the ramp and into this area right here to bring your dinos there, you have a really high risk of falling in there. Like they're just walking off into that. And then if you can get them in here, like your Rex is in here and fighting, then it's safe. But most likely the Megapithecus runs out of this room and goes down here and wants to fight like right around here and that's really tough because you will most likely lose a lot of Rexes just to being pushed off into this little chasm. So I typically just put all the Rexes over in the corner here and let the guy come to us and then we just fight him at that point right there. So that's really the biggest challenge for this map. But let's head on over to the island. Alright, as far as what we got from that fight, we did get the Gamma Megapithecus Trophy. We also got a Megapithecus Flag, Gorilla Flag, and we got some Elements. And as far as the Ingrams go, we, I believe, we unlocked... Yeah, we got some boots and some gauntlets. I think gauntlets are the things we unlocked here. 
So that's the big thing. Everything else I think we already had. So we do have the gauntlets now, which is nice. We can use those later on as well. We actually might have enough elements to start crafting the replicator. Okay, I think we did fairly good. I mean, these guys are just, they're just so tanky. Yeah, like, I don't think hardly any of them took damage. The only one we lost was just to the to the chasm, that's it. So what we need to do is probably get a replacement one for the beta. I'm gonna go check on the resources that we need. I think we need more spino sails and thylacolio claws, but those shouldn't be too hard to get. Uh, but other than that, I think we should be fine. I think we just lost one Rex. And double check that. Okay, yeah, so looking at our Rexes, like hardly any damage taken, like just 2k lost from that one. Yeah. Yeah, we just lost one dino, but look at that, the damage is so light on these things, uh, so I think we're fine. So I'm gonna go grab another one. I do have a couple of spare saddles that I could put on them, so I'm not too concerned about the saddles. So I'll get prepared and then we'll come back whenever we're ready for the next one. All right, here we are back and we have everything prepared. So this is what we have in the obelisk right now. We have all of the artifacts and then the megalamia toxin, megalodon tooth, spinosaur sail, therizina claws, and the thylacolio hook claw. So the thylacolio hook claws, I didn't have any of, so I had to go out and farm those up. And fortunately, they do drop two at a time. So I just needed to kill three thylacolios. Other than that, I did make a couple of changes. I did put these guys onto attack target. So if I do shoot something, it'll attack that thing automatically. And that should be, I think, more beneficial. Or if I bite it with my dinosaur, it'll do the same thing. And also, I did turn off the harvesting. So I'm not going to be picking up any more meat and fur and stuff like that. Because the fur could weigh down your dinosaurs and you really don't want to deal with that. So with that said, let's go on ahead and hop into this one. This one should be more straightforward. I'm going to try really hard to get everything squished into the corner first. And hopefully we can get everything prepared before the boss comes and finds us. So we should be good to go. This one should be a little bit diff more difficult, but not that big of a deal, I don't think. Oh, let me get my armor on. Yes, yeah, do that. I don't want to lose this armor. I'm not that concerned about this particular boss, um, but I don't want to lose this armor. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go find our dino, then we'll hide underneath that thing now. something. Yeah, let's go ahead and get everybody over here. All right. All you guys go in the corner. See, that this is where you would like it to start at. It's like up there. But if I get my dinosaurs out of that corner, it's going to be really bad. They won't fall off that edge. They'll fall off this edge, though. So we can probably go in here. I really don't want to risk it. I think it's best to just go in here and get the, uh, make a pick that gets to chase you. There we go. Chase us back to where we need to go. Then we'll just fight him like right on the terminal. Plenty of time. Shouldn't take that long to kill it.
Yeah, that's what should go. You want them to be fighting away from that pit, and then over here, which is pretty nice. That worked out pretty well. And as you can see, those Rexes just do so much more damage. Yeah, we got a pretty good amount. 110 element. We got some time. I'll just look at the Ingrams we got. So, let's see. What do we unlock? Tech gate. That's not bad. We got the generator. Okay. Generator. So, we can do the generator and replicator. We should have enough tech and the tech trough. Those are really good. And the rifle as well. So, these three things are really good to make early on. This right here changes the way that you feed dinos and you can leave things running. This is a refrigerated version of the trough. So you don't need to feed the dinosaurs very often. But yeah, that's a pretty nice thing to have. We could do the Alpha Megapithecus as well. That shouldn't be too bad. I think we'll have enough firepower for that with these guys. But I do need to go and farm up some more claws and a few more other things before we do that. So I'll see you back over at the other side. Okay, made it back, so yeah. We'll just leave them here for now. They have lots of food. Let's look at their damage they took. That's boss dinos. Yeah, this one took about 4k damage. 3k. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Look, these things are just so good. This is probably the one you're going to be farming the most for just element. Just because it just works so well with the, the dinos. No trickiness to it. So we're gonna do something. Go ahead and get ready for the alpha. We should be fine to do that. I don't think we're gonna have any problems with that. And it's gonna be a little bit of time to get ready. So I will definitely go ahead and get prepared. We should be able to do that in this episode. So yeah, let me go ahead and prepare, and then we'll be back whenever we're good to go. All right, we are back, and I did go ahead and grab the extra devourer artifacts from the cave. And also flew through the map and then got some spinal sails. Then I also got the Thylacolio claws as well. I wound up using the card chart for that one. It's easier to see the Thylacolios from the ground than from the air. So we should have everything now. This is what we needed. You can't transfer any of these things over to other maps, like these special things like these are usually blocked off from being transferred. So you can't really transfer it, just um, not available. You can't even transfer your character if you have one of these in your inventory. So any of these special uh, things that you would need to summon a boss aren't transferable, but the artifacts are. So that's kind of their way to get you to farm up a map. And different maps require different things. So these are Pretty much what you would need for the island in the center so yeah so we are ready to go i'm pretty confident that we got this let me make sure i know where my mount is where's my mount at there it is okay it's back there so let's fire this off i'm going to put some clothes on i wound up forgetting about my med brews and other stuff so i'm okay with that though we should be fine as far as the weather goes let's go ahead and get started so i'll see you in there not much else we need to talk about for this fight we'll just get it done Alright, that's the fight. So, a uh, pretty simple fight. 
Definitely the easiest out of all the three bosses. Not much to it other than just getting your dinos in here. Get some pretty decent level ones. Then, uh, yeah, just having to go at it. So, let's look at the these guys while we're waiting. We still have like a minute left. We already got stuff for it. So let's look at our dinos. Let's check out our boss dinos in here. Yeah, so if we look at these guys, this one took a decent amount of damage, like 9k. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, this one's about 9k as well. So yeah, I just have a couple of them. Really, this one, yeah, roughly 9k-ish. So yeah, it's like the worst couple of them of those. So this is a pretty easily farmable boss. And we do get quite a bit out of that. So 220 elements. So this is the boss you would typically farm up for the elements. The materials to get for it aren't too bad. Not like the dragon. That's a much harder boss to farm for. It's a big pile of stuff here. So yeah, if you're wanting to farm up element on this map, that's probably the one you'd go for. And yeah, just the Thalio Colio Claws are the only thing that's going to be a pain, and a Megalin Toxin. But everything else should be pretty fine. The Brute Artifact, if you're just on the island, that's going to be a really tough one to get. So the Brute Artifact is, is pretty tough as far as that goes. Uh, but if you have access to other maps like Center, then that one's going to be pretty easy to get. And we unlocked, as far as Ingrams go, let's go check that out real quick. So we got tech grenades, um, cellar doors, and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, everything else we already had. Oh, we got the tech wreck saddles, so there we go. Yeah, you can shoot stuff with these have cannons on them. Pretty interesting, but I don't think I've ever used these before in this game. Like it's, if you have nothing else to spend your element on, you, that's what you would go for. So yeah, I think head back to the base and I'll pick these guys up first, then I'll head back to the base because we don't really need to keep them out here. Yeah, I'll just see you back over there. All right, made it back to the base and yeah, we do have our flags hanging up or I guess our banners and this is what we have so far. So we do have all the Megapithecus heads. We just have the two Broodmother heads right now. We still have a bunch of these artifacts left. I have to go bring these over there. If I head back over there. So yeah, the next boss would be the dragon. And the dragon one is a little bit tougher. I'm going to have to continue trying to get better versions of our fairies before I hit the dragon. But that shouldn't take too much longer. Um, I'm going to try to go and find some on the center and probably look over here and get and just do like a quick scan to see if I can find some 140s or 150s and hopefully get some better melee on some of those before I start doing any more breeding. But while I'm actually looking for stuff, I'm going to continue breeding to get a higher melee and a higher health on those things. So that's kind of the plan. It's kind of what I've been doing. It's just a slow process. So right now, what I want to look at is also, we should have a decent amount of element. So doing all the bosses that we did, yeah, we have like over 400, so 446 to be exact. And we also have 116 Black Pearls. So this is from spending a lot of time in the water, killing the Alpha, Mosasaur. We are going to need a couple of specific things for the dragon. So for the dragon, you need to have Giga Hearts which I have one. I need a couple of more for the alpha version of that boss. I think you need two for the alpha. You're also going to need Tuso tentacles, which I've killed some Tusos, but I have not found tentacles yet. So I'm not quite sure if those only come from the alphas or not. But you do need a couple of those as well. Uh, I think you need five for the alpha. Maybe more, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm going to have to go into the water... That's why I have my Bacillosaurs on me. I'm going to have to go down there with some scuba gear. And then try to head over to the ice area up north. 
and then do the like a southern run in the the southeast corner. Try to find some alphas because I want to get started on doing some tech stuff. So we do have access to a lot of the stuff. Specifically, I want to get the tech trough going, and you know, like I think all together we're gonna need probably like yeah, 270 for that. The tech trough is another 45, so like roughly 315 for that. We have the element. The element's pretty cheap. Yeah, like this is 30 element for this, and this is 18 element. It's just the black pearls. The crystal, the metal is a little high, but I can just do another run. I should have enough for everything with just one more run. And everything else should be pretty easy to get. Polymer is easy to get. So that's kind of the plan. I'm going to get started on that stuff as well. But I'll talk about that a little more once I get the materials for it. So yeah, the next step is to go into the water. Try to find some Tussos, some Alpha Tussos. And get some of those tentacles, which I'm going to need for the dragon. And also get some black pearls. It's kind of a big thing. But the black pearls, if I can find a couple more alphas, I should be set on black pearls for a little while, at least. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. So we got into the fight. We went ahead and killed all three versions of the Megapithecus with our Rexes. Those are pretty standard Rexes. Stats on them, at least. They're not mutated at all. They're just regular 40, 6 health, 41 damage. Rexes leveled up to like level 50, I believe. Pretty easy to get to. And that didn't take very long to get those. So we're going to take care of what we wanted to take care of, which was the Megapithecus. And all we have left is the Dragon and then the Overseer. And that should be it for this map. That is going to be it. I thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>